Hey, do you know anything about um, three speed on the column? Let me show people, let me show the millennials what this is. All right, so instead of having a stick shift here, this car is so old that the stick shift is actually on the column. So there's a clutch in this car. See that? Can you see that? So people will say, so there's the clutch, there's the brake, here's the gas. So essentially, your stick shift, instead of it being in the floorboard, is here now. So it goes down or goes up. Let's see what gear this is. That's first. Let's see what gear this is. I think that's third. you have we got reverse it's probably been the first time this thing has been driven in like 30 years everybody that know okay so that's reverse and there's first would you look at that so a friend of mine called me and said hey will you get this car right so I can take it to Ocean City and I says, Joe, it hasn't been driven in 30 years, dude. You know how hard it's going to be to get this thing running drive in that short period of time? He says, my question is, is can you do it? I said, well, I think so. Let's try it. There's second. So there you go, Joe. This is the first test drive this car has done in over 30 years. When it got here, it had all the valves were trashed. It had been every push ride, the motor had sat up for so long. So as I stated before, Joe called me and says, I would love to take this Savoy to Ocean City. And I says, dude, it's, it's going to be really tough to get this shit knocked out and get it done and get you to Ocean City. When I say Ocean City, I meant spring. We're now on the fall cruise in. Here's what happened. We found out that it had been every push rod and the lifters were no, just they were jacked up. There was only one person in the United States that actually had inventory of lifters and push rods for this for this Savoy. Who knew that parts for this car were so hard to come by? So we got the push rods, and then we've got the lifters. So needless to say, we're running and driving it. But when we turned the brakes, when we tried to use the brakes, all the wheel cylinders were locked up. They were leaking. The brake shoes were swollen. That was a whole nother. That was a whole nother journey of trying to find brake parts for this thing. So, I think it's perfect. Other than readjusting the brakes, I think this car is gonna make it to Ocean City. Um, it's not the prettiest thing, but I bet you this thing is, has a whole lot of history in it. 
This thing has probably taken a many a trip to a grocery store. It's probably taken a many a trip to 4th of July to watch fireworks through the car. It's taken many a doctor's appointments visits. It's been to the funeral a few times, the church. This car has probably got a lot of stories that to tell. And uh, the only thing we have left to do is put windshield wipers on it. We are going to put a little bit of a compound on it to get it to shine more. We're not going to paint it. We just kind of want it to brighten it up a little bit. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Joe Smith from Chesapeake Heating and Air. Um, we're going to make his dream come true on driving this Savoy and during fall Ocean City cruise in. Uh, here's to you, Joe. A couple more things to get done and I'll be seeing you cruising in Ocean City, buddy.